everybody. Welcome back to our channel. We've had a few requests from people asking to see more of our barn conversion. Uh, some of you may know or you may not know that we took an old hay barn and converted it into our house. Right. And so we thought it'd be fun to just show you um, some of the rooms the next several uh, weeks. So today we're going to start in one of my personal favorite rooms, which is the master bathroom. So stay tuned and we're going to yeah. take you on a quick little tour of our bathroom. Turned out great. You'll love it. So the first thing that I love about our master bathroom is we have a toilet and a urinal. Yes, you heard me right. We have a urinal. Ladies, I know what you're thinking. That is gross. That's disgusting. Well, let me tell you, it is amazing because I never have to worry about getting up in the middle of the night and going to use a bathroom and sitting on a toilet seat that has been left up. Ha ha. No, for real, the, the urinal is great. It's a great um, little touch that my husband really wanted, so I like it too. <clears throat> As you can see, I used an antique door on the potty room. I just wanted to have uh, just a touch of new with the old, so I um, found it at an antique store and just left it as is, put a new doorknob on it. The little piece of furniture that you see there in front of our shower, that's where I keep our towels. Um, I painted it to match our vanities. It's just an old antique washstand. And there's our beautiful shower. It is a two-headed shower. I do like the rain shower heads. I've had people ask how I like them, but I really do like them. I have long hair and it gives us a lot of water volume, so I really, really do like that. We use the faux marble tiles in 12 by 24. And yes, I took a bench, which is another awesome touch for me. And we did the window in it to allow a lot of natural light. This is a nice touch as well. I found this old uh, mantle at one of the places that we like to frequent up in Alabama. I think we mentioned it in another video. It's called the Trading Post. Really cool find. I think I paid 25 bucks for it. So it looks great over our fireplace. And this is the crown jewel of the bathroom. I love my clawfoot tub. You don't have to break the bank to get the clawfoot tub. This is actually a reproduction and it is acrylic. And I got it at Wayfair.com for a very reasonable price. And it's amazing. It's, it's deep and it's long and it's just a very nice touch to our bathroom in front of the big window. And the window is called Rain Glass. Pick that up. A special order at Lowe's Home Improvement. It gives a lot of natural light but provides privacy. And it's really These are the vanities that I refinished. Um, they were old dressers, antique dressers, and you can see that they're not a perfect match, but it doesn't matter. The way I refinished them, it's kind of like his and hers. One is a little bit more feminine with the curves, which would be mine. <laughs> and the other one is more masculine with straight lines. And I simply just uh, took the dresser mirrors off and we hung them on the wall behind our farmhouse sinks. We surface mounted the sinks and our plumber just cut a hole in the top of the dressers. We did lose a few of the drawer spaces, but I didn't mind because the look is amazing. And 
yes, I love shiplap. <laughs> My poor husband, not so much, just because we have cut so many board feet of shiplap for our barn conversion, but it was worth it. We have a two-way fireplace that looks in from the bedroom to the bathroom so we can enjoy it from either side. Overall, I just kind of wanted a spa-like feel to our bathroom, but yet relaxed enough to go with our farmhouse decor. And I think we nailed it.